Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's time for Dr. Frank's Math Minute. But even more importantly, it's time for lunch. <laughs> Let's head off and get ourselves a nice juicy burger. A burger has to be heated to at least 160 degrees to ensure that all the bacteria is killed off. Besides, there's nothing tastier than a piping hot burger, as Zach is cooking here behind me. Thank you. From the moment the hamburger leaves the grill, it begins cooling. In fact, the process of its cooling and its temperature is governed by what's called Newton's Law of Cooling. Is there anything else I could get you? Well, in fact, yes. Uh, I would like a digital thermometer. Sure. Oh, wonderful. Just what I was looking for. A marker and specially marked graph paper with its uh, temperature measured in degrees Fahrenheit along the vertical axis and time marked in minutes along the horizontal axis. Oh, perfect. You are the waitress who has everything. Oh, since I can't eat this juicy hit burger, could I have a plate of pickles, please? Oh, wonderful. This should probably last me for the whole experiment. Newton's law of cooling is described by what is called a differential equation. A differential equation is a special type of equation that involves a rate of change. Let's review quickly. Here, let's suppose we have the temperature function. A function, as you recall, is a machine that takes in numbers as inputs. For example, the numbers might represent the time. I put in number three here and has outputs. In this case, the outputs are the temperatures. So this would indicate that at t equals to three minutes, after three minutes, the burger is cooled to a temperature of 155 degrees. And so the differential equation relates t, the temperature function, and t prime, which is the derivative of the temperature function. And so this equation that relates the temperature and its derivative, which is itself a function, is the differential equation that we call Newton's Law of Cooling. Newton's Law of Cooling states that the rate of change of the temperature is proportional to the difference of the temperature of the burger and the ambient temperature. That is, the greater the difference between the temperature of the burger and the surrounding air, the faster that it will cool. Solving the differential equation means finding an explicit expression for the function t. We'll show the solution here rather than go through the nitty gritty of actually solving the equation. We'll take this explicit expression for t and then we'll conduct an experiment and compare the experimental result with the theoretical result. Let's begin our experiment. Boy, am I glad that that experiment's over. I can't wait to bite into that juicy burger. Well, instead I ate a whole plateful of pickles. Let's take a moment now and compare our experimental results 
with the theoretical results. Before the burger gets any cooler, I better take a bite. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 Mm.